Hey man, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Vonce One K coming through with another video for y'all boys again today, man. Y'all see the title? Y'all see the thumbnail? Today I'm gonna be explaining how much I spent for all my vehicles. But I only have I have four cars. I gave one away, which is a scat pack. If y'all have not seen that video, make sure y'all go watch that video. But yes, I have three cars at the moment. I have a 17 Lamborghini Huracan 580-2. I got a Hellcat Red Eye 2021 Charger. And I have a 1989 Cadillac Braum. People be like, bro, how do you have a Braum and a Huracan in the same fleet? I don't know, bro. I just, I don't discriminate. I just be buying. Well, I like what I like, bro. Straight like that. But, man, today I will be explaining to y'all how much I spend for all of my vehicles per month. And then I'll add it up at the end. And then uh, I'll tell y'all how much I spend for these cars a year, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that, man. Um... Let's not waste so much time, but let's get right into the video. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So right off the bat, we're going to start with the cheapest car I got, which is my 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Wild wow, body, of course. Um, So I got this car back in October of 2022. I've had it since then, obviously. Uh, it hasn't really given me any issues. It's a really good car. Uh, I have refinanced this car. So I was playing an arm and a leg for this car. I still am paying an arm and a leg for this vehicle. But, man, it's not as bad as what it used to be. So, got to take that into consideration. It's really dirty in here. I barely drive it now. I've got my Lambo. But peanut butter seats, 220 on the dash. We look over, I love said, can't believe that car go this fast, space says. I, got a, I like to troll a lot. So this is my little sticker on here. Warning, student driver, be afraid, be very afraid. A friend of mine, a former friend of mine gave me that. And uh, I always put it on. I don't know. I would put it on the Lambo, but it doesn't stick to the Lambo. I guess it's different material. But, yes, man, this is my 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye Wild Body. Blah, 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 whatever. No, it's not a jailbreak. Uh, I would trade it in and get a jailbreak. Don't tempt me. I really would. But, uh, no, yeah. So, let's start about finances and how I got this car and what made me get this car. So I'm gonna start with what made me get this car. I don't know if y'all been following my journey. A lot of y'all already have, so y'all kinda know. I've, I've been in the charges like, the first car I ever bought for myself was an 07 SRT8 Charger, of course. Then I got a 15 Hellcat. Then I got a 20 Hellcat. Then I, this is my 21 Hellcat Red Eye. And I will get another Hellcat and another haircut and I had just had a scat pack get out of the way so I've had a bunch of charges so I just love chargers bro so how I got this car it's a long story I, I, I'll make it short and simple because this is really not you know what I'm saying a topic I really want to touch on but man I got this car from Mike Resi Nissan shout out to them great dealership uh, no money down but this car was 96,000 back in October 2022 it had 14,000 miles uh two owners i scooped this car up for i want to say 90 99 out the door so i owe i didn't put down any money so i owe 98 98 i uh i got it down to like 87 and then i refinanced and went back up to 90 because i got warranty on it this time but yeah, at this current currently I owe 88 all over again on the 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red right Eye. My payment when I first bought this car was, and I'm not I'm not lying, y'all probably call me crazy. My payment for this car was 16.85. Yes, I was paying, which is probably normal now, but back in the day it was kind of crazy, but. $1,685 to own this 2021 Dodge Charger Red. I think my inch, my interest rate was maybe like a, I want to say it was like a 11, 12, which is kind of good nowadays, which sounds crazy. But yes, it was like an 11 or 12%, no money down. And I rode out with this vehicle and I kept it ever since. Now I refinanced. I've had it for, I refinanced back in March. So I had it, I had it what, let's see, October, 
November, December, January, February. I had it five months and I was finally able to refinance. And now the payment is $13.85. No, it's $13.77. So I brought it down a couple hundred dollars, which is, you're not really gonna notice it, especially when you put gas in this thing. We're not even gonna talk about gas later in the video. But yes, man, at this exact moment, I pay $13.77. For my 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Which, for that price, isn't bad. Because I know people paying that for a scat pack. So, focus on your credit. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, a bank did pick me up for $13.77. And I'm just like, thank God. I took the deal ASAP. And they also tacked on a little bit more. Because of I, I decided to get extended warranty. You know, just in case if anything breaks down. Uh, which I shouldn't have. Because, I mean... If something breaks down, I'm probably just gonna replace it anyway. But yeah, I definitely got the warranty just because you better be safe than sorry. I'd rather have it than than to need it. Really need it than to you rather need it than to you rather wanna wanna get it. You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. But yeah, but yeah, but this is my 2021 Dodge Charger right Hellcat right now. But um, so I'm gonna tack up all oh, insurance too. All right, so for insurance. I pay for the Hellcat Red Eye alone. I pay. I want to say, six fifty. Six fifty, for insurance. So that's three. That's let me see. I really don't. I really don't sit down here and add it up. It's probably gonna be so crazy to me after I sit down and actually add how much I pay for these cars. But man, thirteen seventy seven. No. Sixteen fifty. Sixteen fifty. 650 for the insurance that's full coverage of course so that's already math i cannot do over top of my head that's already somebody's rent it's kind of crazy uh and then like gas and shit i say i spent about 300 dollars in between 200 to 300 dollars a week in gas depending on how far i drive this thing is the absolute gas guzzler bro tires i get them used i can grab I can grab one tire for like $100, so I really just buy two. That's $200 in tires. Oil changes be like $130, you know, since if I ever needed it. Uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too extreme. Um, I know, but per month, I'll say $300 in gas. I would say $1,377 and then $650. I have to add that up. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I will add it up at the end of the video. And that's typically like what's mandatory to pay for this car every month. Um, don't really need tires every month. I mean, if I'm driving like a, like a maniac, then yeah, I would. But nine times out of ten, I really don't. So yeah, just the thirteen, the six, and then the three hundred in gas. And I would say that that sums up my Hellcat as far as like every month. And I would add that up at the end of the video. What it mean for 12 months, which is a year, obviously. Y'all not dumb. Y'all know what 12 months is. But, yeah, man, let's go start on the new purchase. And I know y'all probably been looking at like, damn, Vontae, what happened? If y'all watched my last video, y'all know, bro, I was on the way home from hanging out with Avery B. And it was this truck in my way. And this car does not have Apple CarPlay. It's a 17 with no Apple CarPlay. So I'm driving on the way home. And literally, it's a fucking box spring in the highway, bro. And I just, like, I see it too late. I look down at the GPS and I look back up and it's a box spring. I just hit that bitch. I'm just like, oh my God, bro. And I had the same problem in Virginia. It's a radiator back here. And uh, I don't know. It's just so sensitive. Like if anything hits, it's going to fucking break. So yeah, radiator back there. I hit it, broke it all over again. I literally did this in Virginia, not even a month ago. So the same part that I fixed a month ago is all is now... A problem now and it's just like bro i'm so tired of this sensitive ass fucking car but <sighs> yeah i had to get that fixed um but boom let's get it started 2017 lamborghini huracan 580-2 seafish blue with the white brakes this is an amazing spec black interior blue stitching mwah, mwah, mwah. this car is fucking perfect bro i have to get that fixed of course Everything else, bro, everything else is absolutely spotless on this car. The total price for this car was two. I want to say it was 230. 
I really didn't pay attention to it. Out the door, it was like 2.30. It might have been two high 220s. 2.30 out the door. Two, I made like 2.32 out the door, something like that. And uh, I put down $50,000 for this car. Yes, because I had I put, I put down $50,000 for this car. Right? I ain't going to lie. It was a very hefty expense to get this car. And I shouldn't have did it because it was such a stupid purchase. But, man, I do car videos. So you kind of just, just look at life like, man, you know what? I could take this fifty thousand and sit on it and sit on it and sit on it and sit on it, or I could take a, ch a chance, gamble, get this car, and who knows what doors this car open up for me, man. So, jumped on it. It was just like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. And I, I, I got it. And uh, shout to Travis, man, for making the deal happen. But even with a fifty thousand dollar deposit on this car, I still pay. <laughs> A month, I still pay. I think my note is forty-two hundred dollars a month on this car, bro. Yes, forty-two hundred dollars a month on this car, and the insurance is four forty-one. For some reason, it's cheaper to insure a fucking. It's cheaper to insure a Lamborghini Huracan, which is a supercar, over. A fucking charger. <laughs> it's crazy to me. Like this, this insurance is 440, and this one is 650, bro. Same policy, glass protection, deductible. Like I, I don't, I don't understand. But yes, man, I pay 4,200 dollars a month. It's like 4,189, something like that. And then uh, insurance is 440. And this is my Lamborghini Huracan. I probably spend um, I probably spend a week. Um, a, a week. Damn, that was a week in gas. If I spend three hundred a week and three six nine, I probably spend a thousand dollars a month in gas in this car. I probably spend a hundred in this one, so that's probably like four hundred a month in gas. This is actually a really good fuel efficient car. I'm not gonna lie to you. The V10, don't let it fool you. The V10 in this car is not. A gas guzzler. This is a very fuel efficient car to me. I drive like I have common sense. So it's not that bad to me. I mean, other people probably be like, nah, this car burns too much gas, or whatever the case may be. But this right here is a very fuel efficient car. No cap. I, 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 I promise y'all this. I'm not wailing. It's a very fuel efficient car, bro. No cap. Listen to me. It is. But yes, I probably spend. So the, it's the 44, 400, 44. Four hundred foot, four hundred and forty dollar car insurance for this car, the forty two hundred dollar a month payment, and then the four hundred to five hundred dollars in gas every month. Not bad, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not bad for a Lamborghini Huracan. I mean, I'm, to me, it's not bad. Obviously, you know, I know there's a lot of people that pay a lot less, or some people that pay a lot more, whatever the case may be. But yes. This is not a bad car at all. I honestly don't remember my interest rate on this car. I'll have to go and check. I don't remember it being high at all. But if y'all focus on y'all credit, <laughs> I know y'all so tired of hearing this, bro. Like, damn, Vontae, we want to know how to get these cars, bro. We want to know how to get these cars, bro. There really is no, like, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit or gatekeep, bro. There really is no, like, <laughs> bro, it's not really no money glitch, no fucking exploit no cheat code bro we just we work and we meet the right people and we and we do the right shit we make sure we're on top of our shit credit does play a, the biggest part when it comes to getting cars obviously because if i'm a bank why would i want to give you a hundred thousand dollars for a car and you can't even pay your fucking phone bill on time so when, when these credit companies and these banks look at your shit your history they see you never missed a car payment you've had two thousand fifteen hundred dollar car payments and you never missed one they don't mind giving you a loan for a, Two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars for a fucking car, cause it, it shows that you pay your shit on time. You feel me? So that's why it's like it, it plays to be on top of your shit, have good credit, have nice credit history, blah 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 yada yada. Not miss your credit, not miss your your uh, payments and shit like that. That's very important, bro. It's very important to do shit like that, and, and it lets you live the lifestyle that you want to live. Like I'm literally 22. I was 21 when I had both of these cars. So the title of this video is gonna be 21. But yes, I am 22 now, and uh. I literally have both of my dream cars, and I have three other, let me see, one, two, three, 
three. Yes, I have three other cars on the way. Maybe, maybe a fourth one. I don't know, bro. But I do have other have. I have three other cars on the way. So make sure I stay tuned for that too. But yes, man, I really do take care of my credit. I make sure I'm on top of my shit and whatnot. And uh, shit, man, I really, I really, damn, I gotta add this shit up. So I'm about to add up everything, bro. This so y'all got an idea of how much I spend a month in vehicles, bro. So boom, we said Lamborghini, 4200 a month. Then insurance is 4400 a month. Then we're gonna do 650 for the cat insurance. Then we're gonna do note 1377. Then we're gonna do gas. I would say I spend about 500 in gas a month in the Lambo. Spend about 1100 in gas on the cat. Two. 8200. 8200. Just in cars alone, bro. That's insane, bro. <laughs> why do I why am I spending so much on cars, bro? Like it's just hitting me now like That's a lot to spend in a fucking car, bro. And then at the moment, if y'all watch my car channel, I do have a car channel if y'all want to see more car content. Bro, these motherfuckers don't even work. Like, they both drive. I can both start both of them and crank both of them up and shit, but this one got a supercharger belt problem. That one got a radiator issue. I can't even drive them, but I'm paying $8,200 a month for two fucking cars. Ain't that crazy, bro? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> That's a lot of bread. It, I mean, when you think about it, it can, it can get kind of scary because it's like one slip up and you're done. But, man, as long as you stay true to yourself, work, grind, pursue your dream, bro, you'll be fine, bro. They print money out of thin air, bro. No cap. They really print money out of thin air and make you work for it. So, it really ain't that hard to get it, bro, to be honest. I mean, it is. It's easier, it's easier said than done. I obviously know that because I've, I've been on both sides of this fucking... I've been on both sides of this Matrix shit. And uh, I know it ain't easy. If y'all want me to break it down more in depth from like step one, step two, step three on exactly how to try to start this shit going. Because everybody can tell you, oh, work on your credit. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, you need to get an LLC. But nobody's really breaking it down to the T like step one, do this. Because even I should be trying to get advice from people and they tell me to do this and do that. But how do I do this and do that? You feel me? Like I need, I need to be, I need this shit to be broken down to a T. First thing you need to do is do this, right? Then step two, do this, do that. I'm the type of nigga that I tell you how to do all that. But, unfortunately, I got to make y'all niggas pay for it, bro. Because, <laughs> I know what I'm saying? I, 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 done, I done spent real bread to try to get information and learn about shit like this. And I can't just give away the, for free, bro. This is not how it is. But I might, if y'all catch me in public, I might put y'all down a little something like that. But, man, I, I don't have to make y'all pay for it, man. So, I, if I saw the Patreon, or OnlyFans, YouTube suspension, Instagram suspension, ins Instagram subscription, subscription. <laughs> make sure y'all tap in with that, man. And um, I definitely would put y'all down from step one to step whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I can break it down to you. Like, I'm not just going to tell you, work on your credit. That's that gatekeeping shit, bro. Obviously, we need to know. Like, we need to have good credit. And we need to make a certain amount of money. And we need to do this and do that. I would dead ass break it down to you in increments. I'm not these other niggas that's just going to tell you the bullshit just to take your money and put you down with a little bit of sauce. I'm going to give y'all the whole thing, bro. Like, real talk. Because I, I fuck with y'all. Like, on some real shit. I'm going to dead ass tell y'all step one, step two, step three. And we're going to break this shit down and get this bread together, man. But, yes, I didn't know I pay $8,200 in cars every month. And I don't even know. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know where the fuck this shit go. Like, what the fuck? Bro, that's crazy. What's $8,200? What the fuck is 8,200 times 12? 8,200 times 12. That's $98,000 in cars alone. Bro, that's $100,000 in cars alone, bro. Oh, my God. This shit made me think, like, what the fuck? <laughs> now I see what y'all saying. Y'all be like, the Atlanta Avengers think money growing trees and shit like that's a lot of bread you know I don't think about shit like this until I actually like make a video on it but this is dead ass crazy I spent a hundred thousand dollars in cars 
a year. Like, that is insane, bro. What the fuck? But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, man. If y'all are new to the channel, I'm gonna let y'all take a sneak peek inside the Lambo, too. I think I got some chips and shit in here. Oh, uh, yeah. I got some chips, but blue interior. I got my name on the floor, mat. Shout out to my lady for buying me that. Um... Lamborghini G-Ski, that ain't my name for no reason. Then, like I said, we got the peanut butter seats in here. Peanut butter gloves. Stars in the roof. Uh, they're not on. I wanted to put stars in this, in, in this roof, but it's a leather ceiling, bro. It's a leather roof. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that's leather. That's just like the seats. I wouldn't want to poke holes through that leather, so I'm going to just leave it alone, man. But if y'all are new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this or just more videos in general. Uh, I'm probably finna turn up my YouTube channel to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Subscribe if y'all are new. I also have a car channel if y'all want to see more car content like this. Or y'all want to see me drive or burn out. So whatever, whatever crazy shit y'all want to see, man. It's all my car channel. It's the same thing as this, but it's spelled out. It should be in my description if y'all want to check that out, man. But in the meantime, I'm about to go figure out how the fuck I can make $100,000 a year. On top of my $100,000 a year so I can have two more Hellcats. And two more Lambos. But in the meantime, I'll catch up. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I will catch y'all boys in the next video, man. Thank y'all for watching. And uh yeah, peace.